Hey guys, so my name is Eli. This is my Land Cruiser LJ70 from 1989. Now, obviously, for obvious reasons, you guys can definitely see that it's a big ass rust bucket. Yes, but because of this big ass rust bucket, it's a quality shit box. Now, on the other hand, a lot of Japanese people just leave their car the way it is now. It's, it's that vibe that I'm looking for. This sign right here. Why did I only highlight the year? Because there's this guy that I found on Instagram. Um, he does, he has an FJ Cruiser. He has a Toyota logo in front and he just did the year. So now when I drive around, anyone looks into the back mirror, they can see yo. <laughs> so for the interior, what do we have? Nothing much. I just changed up the steering wheels, uh, slapped in a bucket seat, which was like a barn find. Now, the reason why for only a single seat bucket and the other side is a normal passenger chair, it's also because of the Japanese vibe. Now, it's only for the comfortability of the driver. Uh, under the hood, it looks pretty bad. I mean, it's not as good looking as all the other engines you guys would see. It's running on a 2L 4-speed manual. Nothing much has done to it. It's still stock, got about 500 over uh, clicks on it. Coming on to the side, obviously, we got a uh, 32 Falcon Wild Peaks, 83 Ws, 15 inch trim. It's not really a two piece, just made it look like a two piece. Now, obviously, with this car, shit tons of battle scars, you can see it from up here, all the way down here, and all these rust and everything. So, these are all the memories that's been on this vehicle ever since my dad drove it. Uh, moving on to the back, took off the back bumpers. Now, this is what the Japanese people do they like the back of the car to look naked. I kind of want that vibe as well, so I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll follow exactly what they did. Going in, now this is one of my favorite things about this Land Cruiser. Now, obviously I removed the back seats, kind of have this tiny drawer set up, it's made by plywood and PVC pipes. Completely movable, it's not locked into the vehicle at all, it's just been held on by two strings on the, uh, up there, if you guys can see that. Yep, and uh, in here on both sides, so one side we have our tools and whatsoever. And the other side is all the cooking stuff. It's filling up fuel, heading back to JB. And then there's uh, this one guy came out and then asked him, uh, he kept on looking at the car, I was filling up fuel. And he came around to me, he was asking like, hey, you thinking of selling this? And I was like, <laughs> never in a million years. <laughs> uh, what advice? for people who wants to buy a Land Cruiser, I would say get it. Why not? <laughs> I, I saw this on Instagram, this airbag test here. <laughs> now, the only reason why I actually wanted to put it on as well because there was this one time I was, on a, I was at a traffic light and somebody went straight into me. It was a Weera. Uh, it, Kind of sad day for that Weera lah. I mean, it's not a sad day for me because if that's the only scar that there was on my on my car, it's like one tiny scratch, like right here. That's it. But the Weera, the, the bonnet went straight into like an A shape, so it went under the, under the Land Cruisers, which is like uh, I hope he was okay, because I told him to stop at the side. This fella didn't. He just turned around and just drove off. So I'm like, okay, well, your loss, not mine. 